What's going on, boys and girls? How's it going? Uh, back at you with another episode of uh, Sipping with Samurai Piggy. So today's episode uh, is a nice little uh, friendly gesture that we here in the beer community like to do, uh, where we have uh, beer mail. Uh, this comes to us from our good friend uh, up in New Hampshire. His uh, handle is at crafts.brews.food. Uh, his name's Nick. Uh, we're, we've, been, uh, we've been friends for a little while now, and he sent us over this nice little tripel that we're uh, going to taste today. It is from a independent brewery up in Derry, New Hampshire. They are called Rockingham Brewing Company. And how appropriate that the Thirsty Samurai Piggy is gonna be sipping some piggy today. Uh, today we have the Three Little Pigs Belgian Style Trapel. Uh, on the back, it has the uh, description as, as light as straw and as strong as brick. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf now? Trust the pig, rock a ham. So, a little bit about Trapels. Trapels uh, come from Belgium. Uh, they are the third tier and a four tier system of uh, the single ale, the double, the triple, and the quad. And as the beers get higher, so do the uh, the percentages in alcohol in them. Um, so your typical Trapels go range from eight to twelve ABV and they're usually served in a goblet. Uh, I'm only using this today, so I can just get a slight pour, a slight scent, so I can grab a picture later, because I only have one can of this bad boy. Um, so a little bit about Rockingham. Uh, Rockingham was started by Rob and Ali Lelezi. Uh, they both met in New York as in a game of beer pong. I mean, how, you know, <laughs> it's funny how that works out. Um, they met back in 2007 and Rob was home brewing and he received an associate's degree in the brewing sciences at the Siebel Institute. Uh, he later then started an internship at Port Jeff Brewing Company in Long Island and a little, after a little while, hey what's up sis and trips, what's up hungry yokai, thanks for tuning in guys. Um, so after uh, Robin uh, Ali had been in the game a little while, uh, Ali took on the business side of things, Rob took on the brewing side of things, and they ended up in New Hampshire, D Derry, New Hampshire actually, and they were scouting for places and it was the perfect place to start the brewery, and that's what they did. So, and what's great too is that you can see, hey Madi, thanks for joining in, they have the Brewers Association Independent Seal, Seek the Seal. Check it out. Um, so I think uh, we talked about enough of Tripels. I think it's time to try it. Oof. Wow. Look at that color. It has a nice it has a nice little head. I mean, I didn't pour out the whole thing, so maybe that's why it didn't come out. Uh, you can see the carbonation bubbles. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the, the carbonation bubbles are coming up nicely from it. Extremely, extremely spice sense. And you also get the yeast from the, from the sediment in it. but it's crisp. It's not like too overbearing, but let's see uh, how it tastes. Wow. So the immediate taste isn't as spiced as it is on the nose, but it completely takes over the back of your palate and it just stays there. It lingers. It has a nice long finish, uh, super smooth, crisp, this is a very easy drinking beer, which is dangerous because it is 9.2 ABV. So be careful when you're drinking this one, guys. Uh, this is 
again, a very smooth, easy drinking beer. Uh, the easy drinking beer um, has a nice, nice long finish. Um, for me, I think this would go very well with a nice uh, seafood dinner, like a like a nice some nice shellfish, maybe a nice uh, fillet of fish. Uh, Honestly, I'm, I might be a little bougie, but uh, uh, oh my god, lobster! Uh, th this would actually go great with a nice lobster roll. Um, what else would it go good with? Uh, clams. Clams. Thanks, babe. Uh, babe, what are those two fishes that we love? Uh, damn, one of my right? Yeah. Well. Corvina would be amazing. And what's the filet that we had at uh, Lettuce and Tomato? The one that I'll do. Oh, Branzino. Branzino. That I would love a good. Oh, Opportunity's Nose. <laughs> Thanks for that. A delicious Branzino. This would go amazing with a nice Branzino. Um, again, Rockingham Brewery, Rob and Ali, thank you for making an amazing beer. I can't wait to try the rest of your stuff. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, if you want to follow me on my YouTube, on my, uh, it is a great meaty fish. The uh, opportunities have stated that the brand Z knows great meaty fish and it, it really is. And it would go fantastic with this. Um, uh, so yeah, guys, if you have any questions, you can shoot me a DM. Uh, if you want me to try any beers, if you want me to see, if you want me to do any, uh, tastings on any specific beers, shoot them my way. Uh, I love doing beer mail. So if you want to trade beer. Holler at me. Uh, Nick, craft.brews.food. Thanks again for, for shooting this out to us. Uh, follow me on YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram. Uh, yeah, till the next time, guys. Cheers. Happy Sunday and happy Labor Day.